Hello and good morning, Shafta High School, and welcome back to another great episode of HQ TV, Shafta High School's News Source. My name is Isaac Correa. And I'm Natalie Olvera, and today's November 3rd, and here's what's going on in our general community. Students, if you guys are interested in any scholarships, make sure you guys stop by the Career Center because there are a lot of scholarships available. Deadlines are approaching fast, so you guys need to make sure you guys get them done as soon as possible. Metcha, there will be a meeting today during lunch in room 410. Chess Club will be meeting Friday in Ms. Bowman's room in room 604. Robotic t-shirts are on sale for $20 and will be available until Friday. The numbers on the back is the team's competition code. Our Pride team will be hosting a donation drive over the next two weeks for the items in our Pride Pantry. These boxes are all around town and will be hosting a drive through event on November 16th to drop off items at the school. Teachers have received the box for the Pride Pantry donations, which is meant for their second period students. We are going to be having a friendly competition in hopes to bring in more items. The period class that brings in the most items by November 16th will have a class prize. Tutoring is available in the library from 3 to 7 p.m. Monday through Thursday, so feel free to stop by for any reason because the tutors there are very helpful and are willing to help anyone. We also have athletic tutoring for all athletes. Here's an interview by HQTV's own Andrew and Angelo. Today we interviewed Ms. Duran in her classroom about athletic tutoring at Shafter High. Ms. Durant here with Athletic Tutoring. So what got you into um, tutoring in the first place? Uh, tutoring in the first place, you just want to help students out, whether they need a little extra help or you know, they're really struggling. And a big part of being a teacher is, is helping students. And when they understand stuff, it feels really good for them and us too. And it's, uh, it's nice to be able to help outside of the classroom as well. So what's the difference between regular tutoring and athletic tutoring? So athletic tutoring is in my room, whereas main tutoring is in the library. And then the other big difference is uh, it's from three to five. And so I communicate regularly with coaches. But the big thing is the time, the place, and then I communicate directly with the coaches uh, as often as needed. So why did you decide to choose athletic tutoring over regular tutoring? I'm a coach myself, and I would like to help our student athletes and just kind of give back to them when I'm not coaching my sport. So as a coach and understanding their practice schedule and kind of what they're going through, I like to be able to give back and help them out. Uh, where can uh, people find you if they want athletic tutoring? So athletic tutoring is available on Mondays and Wednesdays from 3 to 5 in my room. So room 303, it's the math wing. Uh, closer to the end where the office is by the new gym I would probably be the easiest way for anybody to know so Monday Wednesday 3 to 5 in my room room 303 thank you guys for that amazing video now let's send it over to Sam with weather hey guys it's Sam your weather girl for today let's take a look at the four-day weather cast today which is November 3rd there's going to be a high of 73. It's going to be a little warm, warmer than usual. Tomorrow, which is November 4th, will be a high of 72 and a low of 49. So the same as today. Friday, November 5th, will be a high of 70 and a low of 46. And Saturday, November 6th, will be a high of 69 and a low of 46. So it'll be slowly going back to colder weather, which I'm happy for. Now let's send it back to the main show with Nat and Isaac. Thank you, Sam, for that weather. Seniors, those who have not created the FSA ID, make sure to go to the Career Center as soon as possible before school, during lunch, or after school to get that done because it is very important. The November scholarships are now available if you guys are interested in applying. So stop by the Career Center to pick them up. Have you picked them up? I have not. No. I've been waiting to the last minute for everything, which is very oh, bad, man. I know. You need to get that done. I know. <laughs> Amazon is offering some part-time job opportunities. For more information, go see Mrs. Dela Cruz at the Career Center. Love Jeff, Jeff, Be J Jeff Bezos. <laughs> Jeff Bezos? Love him. We gotta, I'll, I'd work for him. Uh, FAFSA scholarships are today and tomorrow in your econ and government classes. Remember to bring your social security number. If you don't have your social security number, you will be filling out a different form. Remember, FAFSA is free money. Now Love let's send money. it over to sports with Malia. Malia, let's get it. Good morning, Chapter High. Here's the latest in sports. Boys basketball, um, Frosh off JV, and varsity will be having a scrimmage at Chapter High from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Friday the 5th. 
This Friday, our varsity football team is heading to playoffs. They are playing Riverdale at North, which is a home game, so make sure you guys go out and support. If you want to go, you have to purchase your tickets online, so don't forget to do that. On Saturday, the cross-country team will be having championships at Hart Park, so good luck to all of you guys. <laughs> Girls basketball, Frost Josh, Davy, and varsity will have their first scrimmage here at Shopter High this Saturday, the 6th, from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Softball has begun preseason workouts every Tuesday and Thursday from 3.30 to 5.30. If you are not in a winter sport, it is highly, all caps, highly recommended you join in on the workout. If you have any questions, please see Coach Durant in room 303 or Coach Garcia in room 403. Now let's send it back to the show with Nat and Isaac. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I didn't know it was coming back to us. All right, so senior makeup pictures will be, in Nove will be on November 9th. So if you guys have not taken your pictures, make sure you guys come ready. Veterans Day is November 11th, so there will be no school on the 11th and also no school on the 12th. So that's exciting. You know what that means? What? I'm sleeping in. Sleeping me too, in. me too. All right, and on that note, generals, have an amazing day. And tune in tomorrow for another great episode of HQTV. Shafter High School's news source.